This is Wednesday, so the scoring will be open tonight until Saturday. You have 72 hours from the 6 p.m. official release of the workout to enter your score on Saturday. So from Wednesday to Saturday, um, you need to complete this workout. So workout number two of the West Virginia Open Qualifier is four time, a 100 calorie row, and 100 push press. The push press weight for open and master one is 75 pounds for men, 55 pounds for women. And for the teen, 13 to 17 year old division and the masters two division, which is 50 year old and plus division, the weight for that is 55 pounds for men and 35 pounds for women. So again, it's four time, a 100 calorie row, 100 push press. It does have a 16 minute time cap, so just in case you cannot finish the 200 reps because you have 100 uh, calorie row, 100 push press. If you can't finish the 200 reps, what you'll do is for your time, you'll put in 16 minutes and add one second for each unfinished rep. So let's say you get 100 calorie row and 80 push press, your score would be 1620 because you had 20 unfinished reps of the push press. So the standards are pretty simple for this workout. I have Kelsey Fink here. Um, she's one of our coaches here at CrossFit Intense. So for the row, um, you can set the rower, um, at least on the Concept 2 rowers, you can set your calories to 100 and it will count down. So the whole goal here is to not let the athlete leave the rower um, with their feet. Their feet have to remain in the stirrups until their calorie count, if you're counting down, reaches zero, or if you have a, a different type of rower that might not let you do that until it counts up to the 100. So regardless, your feet have to remain in the stirrups until you've completed the full 100 calorie row. Again, you can be in the seat, your hands don't have to be on the handle, but feet are not out of the stirrups until you reach 100 calories. Once you complete the 100 calorie row, um, you will pick up your barbell and begin your 100 push press. So the push press standards are pretty simple. Um, the rep is not, uh, is not completed until the hips uh, knees and arms are fully locked out with the barbell over the center of the body. So Kelsey's going to demonstrate a couple of those movements. There we go. And up. She's nice and locked out. So, so show a movement that would not be locked out in front of the body. So her arms aren't fully locked out. Her knees weren't locked out. So make sure everything's in a nice straight line um, for the athlete to complete the rep. And that's great. So once again, 16-minute time cap but it is a four time workout. So you wanna enter your time. If you are not able to complete all the reps under the 16 minutes, you will add one second for each unfinished rep. If you have any questions, contact me at mindy at crossfitintense.com and I'm hoping to see some great scores for the workout. Thanks guys.